Welcome into the video. So you just made a purchase for an LG C series OLED and you're looking for some settings to try out for HDR content. Well, you've come to the right place. What you're looking at on screen is an L 77 inch LG C2 and I have a H have an HDR image here paused and I'm going to kind of walk you through the settings the way mine is set up. So let's dive right in. Let's go ahead and press and hold the settings button on the remote. As you can see here, it does say HDR and I have selected filmmaker mode for my baseline. Let's go down to advanced settings. Let's check out brightness first. Pixel brightness 100, contrast 100, and black level 50. These are pretty much staples for HDR content regardless if you're watching a movie or a YouTube video or whatever, so leave these alone. Dynamic contrast, I have mine set to off. Now, if you want an image that is more punchy or brighter, you can turn this up to high. I'm not sure how well this is translating on camera, but I can see in person that the image got quite a bit brighter, uh, but I tend to keep mine off. Dynamic tone mapping, here's another one. You can turn it off. That just darkens the image a little bit. I'm not sure why you would wanna do that for an HDR image, so I leave mine on. Peak brightness on high, of course, because it's HDR, but if you did wanna make some adjustments here, when you turn it off, the image gets drastically dimmer, uh, but I would recommend keeping this on high. And gamma is grayed out, can't do anything. Video range auto, auto don't need to do anything there. And motion eye care is off. So let's go to color next. Color depth is on 50, tint zero, and color gamma is on auto detect. Now, if you, again, if you wanted a more punchy image, uh, if that's something you're used to, you could try out native or dynamic. So I'll go ahead and click that just to see if anything changes. And truth be told, I'm not seeing any change here. Adobe RGB actually uh, mutes the colors a little bit, but uh, I recommend uh, just keeping it on auto detect. And for fine tune, color adjustment, you can make some adjustments here. Um, we'll go ahead and do it just for example, sake of the video. Uh, on high, medium, low, and off. Take note of the yellow helicopter and see if anything changes there on camera. I'm not seeing much of a change here, so you could probably do either or, but I choose to keep it off. And everything else is grayed out here. Next, white balance. Color temperature out of the box is, for LG is typically up here at zero. Uh, let's go ahead and drag this up. Let's go all the way to cold 50. This is probably gonna get you the overall brightest image if that's what you're looking for. However, it's gonna come with a heavy blue push. I'm not necessarily a fan of that, so I keep, uh, I keep this down at warm 50, but just kind of toggle this to what you feel comfortable with or what you like best. Like I said, out of the box, LG has this at zero. This is how it'll look for you. Uh, if you're looking for more of a, what I would consider a natural looking image or a more accurate image, I probably should put it that way, a more accurate image, if that's what you care about, keep this down here at warm 50. Let's see, and everything else here, you don't need to do anything with. And let's go ahead and back out of there. Let's go to clarity. If you're watching 4K content, 4K HDR content, you're probably not gonna need any of these filters, to be honest with you, because you're already watching high level, high resolution content. But again, uh, if you wanna make some adjustments here, if there's something that bothers you, go for it. Uh, I tend to keep this at zero and all the rest of these off. And last, we'll finish up with motion here. And this will probably be the most subjective part of this video as far as what you like. If you're somebody who really likes uh, soap opera effect type of movement, uh, emotion, I would, you could check out smooth movement. If you're somebody who cannot stand soap opera effect, I would recommend checking out leaving it off or you can go in here and do like I did, which is have custom settings. I have D-Judder at three and D-Blur at one. I don't mind just a little bit of soap opera effect, which is why I have this set up that way. But again, if you're somebody who's really sensitive to it, I would just go ahead and turn this off. And that should just about do it. So again, just wanted to uh, show you kind of how my TV is set up on my LG C-Series OLED. 
try out these settings. I'd be curious. Try out, try out these settings and leave a comment below in this video. Let me know what you think of these settings and if you made any changes to how you set your LG OLED up. And if you did enjoy the video, consider hitting the like button. It really helps out the channel. If you're new here, I appreciate you watching. Consider subscribing, hitting that bell notification so you know when I do an upload. And until the next one.